Bernie boss Sean Dyche insists the club have had no approaches for James Tarkovsky or Joe Hart. Bernie boss Sean Dyche says the club have not received inquiries about Joe Hart or James Tarkovsky. It was reported this week that Preston had asked the Clarets if Hart, recently dropped from the starting lineup, or fellow goalkeepers Tom Heaton or Nick Pope were available on loan for the rest of the season, and been told the answer was no. The Lily White subsequently signed Connor Ripley from Middlesbrough. Defender Tarkovsky, meanwhile, has been linked with Liverpool. Deitch said on Thursday when asked about Hart, We haven't had any inquiries, for anyone by the way, because there are other strange stories knocking around, bizarre ones. He added, With regard to Liverpool's reported interest in Tarkovsky, I'm not suggesting it's rubbish. I'm suggesting it's a new one on me. Having played in Burnley's first 19 Premier League games this season, summer signing Hart was demoted to the bench following the 5-1 Boxing Day defeat against Everton. Heaton has featured in the two league matches since, both of which Burnley won, and last weekend's 1-0 Fock Cup victory over Barnsley saw last term's first-choice stopper Nick Pope back in the side for the first time since dislocating his shoulder in July, with Hart again a substitute. Dige whose men host Fulham on Saturday, said, he, Hart, had done very well overall. The only thing I hadn't changed was the keeper. Sometimes I have to get to a point where you go I have to change something, and that was the last piece I hadn't changed in the jigsaw. It is a risk and reward scenario when you change the keeper. Tom's done well. It doesn't make Joe not a top keeper, because he is a top keeper and a top pro as well. He accepted it, moves forward. He's an absolutely top-class professional. After the games Tom has played, he's been the first to congratulate Tom. That's the challenge of being a keeper. It's very tough. We think we have three very, very good keepers and two support that group as well. I'm happy to have them all. When the decision comes, then it will be a big decision. But that's the way it goes. Deitch said of Pope. He did a very good job but still needs a few more games to really be on top of himself I think. It's a planned return. Poppy is kind of midway through his own sort of mini preseason, on the games program that is. He's been training with us for a while now, probably four weeks out on the grass. He's played one under 23s game, got the first game under his belt in the cup, and still needs more match time because that is what you would have preseason when you have been out for so long. Extenuating circumstances aside, when you might have to do things. We're not in that position at the moment, so therefore he'll be given the time to be as right as you can possibly be. While Heaton looks set to return to the team on Saturday, Deitch has said there's a strong chance at least one of Phil Bardsley and Matt Lowton, both of whom have been nursing knocks, will be ready to come back in. Johan Berggudmunden, thigh, is a doubt, and Aaron Lennon, knee, and Robbie Brady, suspension, remain unavailable.